Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you four no-fail fragrances. So these are fragrances that I'll turn to if I don't know what to wear. They either get me compliments or they're long-lasting, but they're fragrances that are just great go-to fragrances, uh, kind of for every day. So I can't wait to get started. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community and... Let's get into this. So I'm gonna briefly talk about this fragrance because to be honest, I talk about it every time I talk about a ride or die, never fail, easy reach video. This one gets mentioned pretty much every time, but it's honestly true. It's Mont Guerlain by Guerlain. Basically, it's very, very sweet. It's a little bit powdery. It's soft, it's feminine. It's got lavender in it and a little bit of licorice. So not everybody likes this. Um, I just think it smells very cozy, warm, feminine, and classy. So I really enjoy wearing this one. The longevity is about six to seven hours. So decent longevity. And these are fragrances that oftentimes I will get compliments on all the time. I don't know if I've ever been complimented on this one, but this is one that it's, it's classy, yet it's still really, really sweet. So really enjoy Mont Guerlain. Next fragrance is L'Interdit by Givenchy. Now this one is, I would say, even sweeter than Mont Guerlain. So Mont Guerlain is tempered by the, the lavender aspect, that aromatic aspect, kind of tempers it. It's a little bit powder, a little bit fuzzy. This one feels a lot more smooth. L'Interdit opens with pear and bergamot, and you definitely get that pear. The bergamot kind of tempers the sweetness. So to me, it smells like a young, uh, like kind of a fresh green pear. Uh, yeah, there's a slight aspect of green in this to me. So you get that in the opening. Uh, it smells sweet. It smells slightly flirty, but still classy. And then as it dries down, the primary floral that I get is more of a bubblegum tuberose. So really, really sweet floral. Now this one I can see being potentially too sweet for some, but I just find this one beautiful. This is one that does get me compliments. Uh, and the longevity on this is at least seven hours, if not eight. It's going to do you the whole entire kind of work day. So great fragrance. This one is very classy and sophisticated. It's quite elegant. Uh, and very, very smooth. As this dries down, you get more of a vanilla vetiver base. So there's a little bit of spiciness. It could be coming from the patchouli too, but all around, this is a very elegant fragrance. So when I think of this one, when I think of Mon Guerlain, I think more of a woman in a flowy dress. She's got a basket. She walks outside of her manor and she starts picking lavender flowers, brings it in the house, makes herself a beautiful cup of tea and sits by the window, listening to the birds sing and writing in her journal. That would be this kind of fragrance. It's very feminine, very very cozy, very kind of grounding. This one smells a lot more elegant. So when I think of this fragrance, I think of a woman that kind of spends a lot of her time in boardrooms. She's pretty bougie. She dresses very sophisticated pencil skirt suit, if that makes sense, if there is such a thing, or just a really nice tailored suit. Uh, very crisp, probably a white blouse. She's got understated smaller gold jewelry but she's uber smart, that's L'Interdit. So you get this sweetness in, it's very feminine still, but it's quite elegant, sophisticated, slightly boss lady feel to me. Anyway, love this one. It would be a tragedy if I didn't mention this one because this is seriously my main no fail. So out of all the fragrances that I have in my collection, if I don't know what to wear and I wanna smell good and I wanna get compliments, I put this fragrance on and it is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. It's been around forever. Uh, most people know what it smells like, but even when I smell it now, I'm like, okay, this is the one I wanna wear today. It's not too sweet. It's just the perfect balance of sweet orange, uh, but not too, not too orangey, just a slight kind of light. It'd be like if you were smelling orange on the air mixed with beautiful florals. Although I, I say it's mixed with florals, I don't really get one specific floral. There's rose, orange blossom, jasmine, ylang ylang, mimosa, so lots of florals. To me, this is beautifully blended, so it's just kind of a sweet 
almost candy-esque floral, but it's not bubblegummy. So just a sweet florals, they're very light and delicate. Uh, you don't really get one over the other. Uh, wit mixed with that orange, and then there's a little bit of vanilla in there. Now, as this one dries down, it morphs a little bit, and I start to get more uh, of a little bit of a spicy woods, which I think is the vetiver, mixed with vanilla. So that kind of starts amping up in the deep dry down, like in eight hours. I'll notice that more so. But the, the citrus aspect stays throughout the whole wear of the fragrance. So to me, this is like a sophisticated version of a freshie in a sense, because you're getting that orange, uh, but it's really, really soft and slightly sweet. When I wear this fragrance, I always get complimented. I always feel very pretty and feminine. So this one is super awesome. It's classy. This fragrance is kind of like an everyday fragrance. So you can wear it like to the office where you're dressed up a little bit more. You could wear it out to some sort of wedding or something like that, but it also just works with jeans and a t-shirt. So don't like let the Chanel packaging fool you. This is a great everyday fragrance. The last one is a little more more new to my collection. Um, I just love this fragrance and I find that I have been wearing it quite a lot and that is Ansem Gold by Latafa. Now this is in the same sort of genre as Oriana by Parfums de Marly or something like a Love Don't Be Shy. Uh, people say that it smells more like Oriana than it does Love Don't Be Shy. To me, it's just that fluffy orange blossom feel. This one's probably the, the softest most uh, kind of feminine-y, uh, fluffy, sweet feel out of all of them. Completely different than any of the other ones, but I really, really enjoy this fragrance and I find it's another one that you can put it on no matter what the occasion, you can throw this one on and smell good. So really good and this is the most affordable one. I think this is about $45. The other ones are more designer prices. This one's a little lower. Uh, the longevity on this one, I find that it lasts really long. Uh, like in other words, about seven hours. However, there's been some people that say it barely lasts on their skin. Other ones say they get about five hours. Others say it lasts like forever. Uh, so it may depend on your nose and whether you go anosmic or it may depend on your skin chemistry. For me, it's pretty decent. So like when I put this one on, I find that I don't put another fragrance on during the day because I can still smell this. So really, really enjoy this one. This one is great if you layer it as well with something like uh, Yum Pistachio by Kayali or any sort of uh, pistachio dupe. It goes really well with that. So this one again is sophisticated and feminine, not as classy, I would say. That said, this one and then I have a Love Don't Be Shy dupe. I find that I actually reach for them more than I reach for anything else these days when I wanna smell put together, sophisticated, feminine. I tend to reach for either this one or my, I think it's called Sweet Addict uh, by Okcha. I reach for that one a lot too. So anyway, uh, that is it. These are my four kind of go-to, easy reach, no fail fragrances. What about you? Is there a fragrance that I haven't mentioned that you just think is a fantastic, never fail fragrance? It always does you right. If so, leave it in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon. I just wanted to address a video that went out rather recently where there was a lot of negative feedback towards the partnership. I just want to say thank you very much for giving me that negative feedback in the way that you did. The majority of the comments were very respectful. From my perspective, I thought I'd done enough research. Evidently, I hadn't checked out the reviews. This company has asked me to partner with them in the past. I turned them down in the past, but then I thought, well, I'll try them out. So I bought a couple times from them. Unbeknownst to them, everything went smoothly. I really liked the prices and I thought that you guys would like the prices too. I didn't know uh, some of the other stuff that you guys made me aware of. The reality is, is that I'm new to partnership and I messed up. I'll be a lot more careful in the future. I just want to say though, thank you 
Uh, again, I've really encouraged uh, that you guys share your honest opinions. So I appreciate that. I do realize that when I align with a certain business that I'm also representing them. So uh, I will be very careful in the future. I just looked at it as, okay, it's a bunch of little small businesses like other companies that have similar platforms, a bunch of small businesses selling their wares. So didn't think any deeper than that, which was my mistake. It is very possible. I am trying to fix it, but I don't know if I can, that there'll be one more uh, short that goes out like a minute short. Um, we'll see what happens there if it goes out again. I made the decision to partner, so I have to follow through. I ask for your patience and I will definitely be more careful in the future.